Ahoy, mateys, and welcome to Tuesday Night Rocket League. Arg. <laughs> I'm your host, Vince Payne, and with me tonight is... I'm Jesse Forney. I work at Park University, and I'm commentating tonight with him. And he's a lot better at Rocket League than I am, so hopefully we'll get some expert commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but... <laughs> and you'll see up on your screen now, this is your, your Park University uh, Rocket League team. You know them, you love them. Uh, starting from left to right, we have Sam Malone, who's Water Malone, Chris Nide, or Tuna Fish Chris, Andre, Andre, Andre Whittle, uh, who's Sahoya, and Miguel Holguin, who's Blood Bud. And, yeah, starting tonight is Chris, Andre, and Miguel, and but we may see Sam brought in at some point, is yeah, what I heard. That's so, what I heard also. Um, we'll see. Uh, we're waiting right now for, the game should be starting up soon, we're waiting right now for the lobby to be made, and for... Uh, everything to get started. Now tonight, it's CSL Round 8 playing University of Tennessee, Tennessee Knoxville, UT Knoxville. So I think we've played them before, but I don't remember what, okay. what how, how it went. But that sounds familiar. Yeah, it vaguely sounds familiar to me too, but I've seen, um, I've seen our park team, our park Rocket League team play a lot, and they're really good. So uh, 
What, UT uh, Knoxville is going to have to play pretty good tonight, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're shaking in their boots. <laughs> about to make them walk the play. Uh, that's right. <laughs> but, yeah, so round eight, this is continuing for, this is, sorry, a continuation from last semester. So, um, so far, I think we've had a winning record. Doing pretty good so far. Um, but is this a best of five tonight? Yes, this is a best of five. So first to three wins, wins. They're all five minute round, five minute rounds. So mm-hmm. uh, you have five minutes to get more points, and then uh, it goes to the next game in the series. So it could take up to twenty five minutes. It could take fifteen. It could go longer if it goes into overtime. That's right. Yep. But you know, so yeah, we're still waiting here for everybody to get in the lobby. I think but, are we waiting for the Tennessee guys right now? I think probably. All right. Um, I I think the way it has to work is they have to make a lobby on the right server, which I know we had a problem last week. They weren't on the right server. Okay. But uh, hmm. they make a server on the let them be on the right server and then invite the other teams. They're probably trying to get in contact with each other right now. So, yeah. So last semester in the NACE tournament. Uh, Park's team got seeded number six and I think made it to the quarterfinals in their wow. division. Wow. Um, so, did pretty good there. We'll yeah. see how they can do here. I don't know exactly how CSL is set up, but we're in round mm-hmm. eight, so I'm assuming that's the regular season and there'll be a playoffs later in the year. Right. Um, there's been some pretty stiff competition in the CSL, so in the, in the Collegiate Star League, so who knows? Yeah. But. Well, I'm excited for tonight. I just know that Park's really good, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Excited for tonight. All right, we'll take a short break, and we'll come right back as soon as the game gets started. So don't go anywhere. All right, so it looks like we're loading up into lobby now. 
But uh, still waiting for everyone to get in. Looks like Park's going to be on the orange side, and UT Knoxville is going to be on the blue side. If you look here, UT Knoxville is represented by Spicoli, Rhino, and Skates. And we put Water Malone in here on game one, so. Wow. And, whoa, what was that? We were looking at this. <laughs> Wait, that three-second goal. Let's take a look what? at this. We go for the kickoff. And so oh, wow. Just completely misses the challenge, and we just get the easy goal right off the bat. Yeah, that's... <laughs> if that's how these uh, games are going to go, I think Park's going to win this pretty handily. Yeah, this Spicoli missed the ball there, and Rhino now taking it up to center. See, whoa! Okay, well, all right. Well, Knoxville fires back right away. Ah, uh, well. Huh. Rhino gets it past both the defenders right there. Definitely an interesting start to the <laughs> Interesting start. Seven seconds in, already two goals. Let's let's see. Uh, Blood Bud and Skates going up. Rhino beats Water Malone and takes it up the wall. He's going to try and center it. He's going to center it, go for a ceiling shot, not quite. So Hoyo hits it into the corner. Skates tries to center it again. Looks like Blood Bud's going to take control here. Oh, another shot towards the center. That's right. A lot of pressure coming from blue team over here, keeping on park side. Cooley going for the shot, Blood Bud knocking it away. Skates going high. Blood Bud's going to boom it into the midfield. Let's see if Park can get it out of their side. Rhino shoots it across. That's right. So, slow down a little bit. Uh, good block by Water Bowling. Cooley going high off the wall. He's shooting towards the goal. Blood Bud coming in, rocking out of nowhere. I think Sahoya could have gotten that. Could've yeah, boost, but. I agree. Oh, we got a miss right there. We got, oh, he barely touched it. Right into the corner. And, oh, that was so close. He's going for the shot. Water Malone and Sahoya double came in on the block. This aggression from Knoxville is kind of insane right now. Park's oh. having a hard time catching up. Spicoli shooting right off the crossbar. Right now trying to take another shot to recover, but Water Malone's going to take it away. Spicoli going for another shot. Another shot, but easily saved. Oh, there we go. Towards UT Knoxville side. Blood Bud off the backboard. Water Malone completely misses. Couldn't, couldn't quite get high enough. No. Blood Bud's going to receive. Let's see what Blood Bud does here. Kind of going high. Blood Bud missing the contest. Water Malone booms it back. Ooh. Demo on the Getting skates. demo. Spicoli gets challenged in the air, goes into the corner. Another miss. We're having a lot of misses this game. I don't know what's going on here. It's happening on both sides, I feel. I think both teams might have gone into this a little cold. A little bit of warm-up. A little bit more warm-up. Ooh, good shot Ooh. by Spicoli. Nice Walked save. Blood Bud taking it. Spicoli shoots it towards the midfield over the top of Blood Bud. Looks like Skates will receive. Water Malone goes for the block. Let's see what Spicoli can do here. Shot on net. Oh, all right. Blood Bud barely saves it, pulls it out, gets to resuscitate on that. Good rotation there by Park. Very good rotations. So, boy, shooting into the corner. Skates keeping it in. Looks like Park's just trying to do whatever they can to get it away. Park's having a hard time keeping up with the aggression from uh, UT Knoxville. So, boy, shooting it into the midfield. Uh, you can see both teams are kind of trying to find a, a break in the defenses of the other team whatever they can to force a mistake. Is that the mistake they that need? Is, and that, that is. <laughs> that might be it, yeah. Man, Spicoli with the aerial straight into the net. Spicoli's been making a lot of shots on towards the goal. He's always up in the air. Always has the right angle. Let's see how this kickoff goes. See who gets possession. UT Knoxville up 2-1. And oh, Demo wow. on Spicoli. Demo. He did not like that... Uh, <laughs> Payback for the goal there. You know what they say, if you can't hit the ball, hit the player. So we're going to try and take it up off the wall. I was going to receive. And Spicoli, oh. Oh, Spicoli misses. Nice He's faked out. Him. Water Malone shot to Savoya. Goes back a little bit. Blood Bud going Blood for this Bud. big aerial shot. Off the backboard, is there a follow-up here? Oh, uh, I don't think Park's quite ready for that. Water Malone didn't quite get, get high enough. And Spicoli shoots it back over towards Park's side. I know, about to make a shot. Good knock away by Savoya. Water balloon, water balloon. Pass to Savoya. Goes into the midfield. 
Now Blood Blood's gonna take it. Blood Blood shot on goal. Blocked by skates. Another good block there. Waterblown was going for it. Machine Knoxville gets to clear back over the park side. One minute remaining, it's two to one. After those first couple of goals, these were <laughs> very slow. I know. The defenses. Both sides. Park's gonna have to try something pretty soon to get this goal. Go T. And, and there it is! It. <laughs> there it is, created the opening. Blood Bud with the goal. It's a double commit on the goal, but it worked out for us. Yeah, Watermelon kind of pinched it off the corner. To the center. We centered it, and then if you have two people attacking the ball, one of them's gonna hit it. So. <laughs> Hopefully, if it if none of them hit it, you're in trouble. <laughs> 44 seconds remaining. Oh, wow. So Hoya uncontested. Is Rhino AFK right now? Oh, no, he's, oh, he's back. back. He's back. He just did not contest the, the ball for the kickoff. Gave him the free kickoff. It's Hoya now. Try to take control so Hoya knocking it away. All the center. Towards the goal. Luckily, no one was, uh, Knoxville was not ready for that center. Good challenge. Parkville gets it out in front of their goal. Rhino with another center towards the goal. Knocked up by Blood Bud. Pitch into the corner. See what the goalie can do here. Nine seconds remaining. Can anybody score? I have a feeling this is going to go into OT. And there's the OT. All right, so it's sudden death. Whoever gets this game here, whoever gets this, uh, the goal gets goal the game. Away, gets the game. There you go. <laughs> oh, demo oh wow! Rhino. Demo off the screen. Almost shot it over Spicoli, but just barely nabs it. Blood Bud centers the ball. Rhino going up to block. He will knock it away. Let's see, Parker keep it on uh, Knoxville side. Rhino going high. Looks like Blood Bud's going to take possession. Oh, skates. wow. He almost stuffs him right there, but it doesn't quite go to the net. Back over on Park side. Skates in the corner. The ball is centered. Ooh. Blood Bud knocks it away. Picks up the wall. Another, uh, another whiff. So Hoya goes high, knocks it away. He's trying to do whatever he can to keep T. Knoxville from getting... Ooh, off the backboard, no follow-up, unfortunately. See we get another center from Watermelon over here. Pass to Savoya, he goes up. Ooh, oh, good bump. bump. Ooh, not quite, though. What about trying to stall? Demo, skates demos. Park trying to take a peck over onto their own side, it looks like. Ooh, scary. Oh, is that the long shot? Oh, but he has the save. It's kind of a bad save, though, but he still got into the corner. Yep, a little tricky. It's tricky. Rhino's got it though. This game just looks very. <laughs> I don't know. There's I think a there's a of... there's a lot of whiffs so far, but yeah. I think uh, both teams just have to warm up. And also, I mean, these guys are playing so well that they're they're them being clumsy, a little bit cold right. is still way better than a lot of people. And you you have to mention also the level of shots and saves they're going for is kind of insane compared to regular players. Goes up, tries to stall the ball, skates, tries to pass it back. Park's having a coordination problem right now. They're all on top of each other. They gotta try to get this ball out of their uh, half. So Hoya going up for the block. Oh, that was a good block. Good get move across the field. That's right. And Way, whoa! Why was that just a whiff? I think that, yeah, that was just a long shot. Long shot whiff. Right out of the corner. Nobody quite got high enough for it. I wonder if uh, he didn't quite have enough boost for that. Or maybe he just didn't read it right. And that UT, was a close game. Yeah, though. that was a very close game. Wow. Game. UT Knoxville taking game one. Very interesting game. Yeah. I think that um, going into game two, I think what Park's got to do is they have to get their defenses up. They can't have it where UT Knoxville is constantly on the attack. They have to get it on uh, Knoxville's side of the field. And uh, if they can do that, then I think that Park is going to have the advantage for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see here in game two. See how – something that I've said a lot uh, is the first game is usually not indicative of the rest of the series. They're just filling each other out a little bit, mm -hmm. I think. Um, something to notice on these stats is it looks like Spicoli was kind of carrying uh, Knoxville's team. 
a little bit. Yeah, he made 10 shots. <laughs> 10 shots. I think that was alone. the beginning when Park was having a hard time with their defenses. He was just putting shot on shot on shot. Mm -hmm. um, we saved most of them, but you know, at some point, something's gonna happen. In game two, in this best of five, UT1 Park Zero, Sohoya and Spicoli go for the kickoff. See if Skate can do anything here, but Blood Blood's got the block off the backboard. Uh, shoots it to Water Malone. Spicoli gonna take it in here, coming in hot. So wait, a shot towards the goal goes Ooh, off, off the, the backboard. backboard. Follow up right there, not quite. Skate's got it. Blood, blood, blood. blood. Keeping the pressure up. I don't know, trying to clear it out. There's a lot of UT players over on Park side yeah. trying to disrupt the defense. I wonder if they're going for bumps. We couldn't quite see. Good boom across the field. Blood, but going around Skate's, deferring to Water Malone. Oh. So boy, uh, this is the shot. This is the shot that we might have been on. And no shot. way! Open goal. There was nobody there. Mm. See, Blood Blood thought that he could get boost. Thought he had time, but he didn't quite have it. Nope. And that'll cost him the goal. Yep. Just takes one mistake, and and that's the goal right there. But the game's not over yet, so we'll see how this keeps going. There's still four and a half minutes left. That's right. Four and a half minutes in just this game. Not to mention the series. Back over on UT's corner, Sahoya going up for that contest. Skates here having control, trying to do a little bit of an air dribble towards the ball. Off the backboard, where's the follow up? There it and is. Rhino yeah. will take the center, shoot it in. There wasn't really anybody trying to stop him. I think Blood Bud, Blood tried Bud to go couldn't up. quite get that. Sahoya couldn't either, and Water Malone was just behind. I feel like Park's kind of having a coordination problem a little bit here with the defense. A little bit. That last one was just uh, blood but missed by inches. By inches. In position. Right. <clears throat> so. Kind of taking the ball over on the Park's corner. Everyone trying to clear it out. Spicoli, once again, going for it. Good boom wow. by Sahoya. Good boom. Let's see. If we oh, oh here's below. the pass. That was Ooh. so good. So Pinches close. The ceiling. Right. Good passing play by Park, but it wasn't quite there. But Blood gets it out of the center. A little too scary. Good pass. I know we'll disrupt. Blood but taking it over on the UT side. Coley moving it back. A bit of a volley going on right now. So your blood, blood Blood's got uh, possession right now, but oh, he just gave it up back to skates. Ooh, Rhino with the miss. This might be our opportunity, but not quite. Booms it back. Spicoli shot, shot towards the goal. goal. Goes in slow, and Blood Blood will take it. Barely missed times that shot. Spicoli did. Really. Rhino taking it high. Trying to do something fancy off the wall. Doesn't quite get it. Watermelon goes into the corner. Demo on the oh, Rhino. Oh, Blood Bud. The goal's open. Oh, the right here. Come on, Blood Bud. <laughs> Center of the ball. Coley will get to it first, though. And skates will go up, shot towards the goal. Rhino will try and take the pass. It doesn't, it's too fast. Let's see what they got here. Any passing plays? All of them are in the corner. UT, all of these players are in the, in the corner. Oh, oh shot. shot on goal misses. Right Second shot spot. misses. Very close. Sapoya so booming it into the corner one more time. Spicoli going up in the air. Water Malone misses. This game's back passing to Rhino. Pass to Spicoli. Oh. Good block by Water Malone. That was a good block. Putting in the corner, see Blood Blood can do here. He gets beat. And Spicoli, another shot towards goal. Goes high. I can think of those pass to Skates that he missed. I think so too. Just trying to get something off the backboard there. Coley once again starting the attack. Pass to Rhino. Oh. So Boya will take it though. Yep. Yeah. Better than 50-50 there. Oh, here's, our, here's the opportunity. We got two uh, of them behind. Oh, right off the crossbar. So close. Oh. Trying to center it. Let's see if we 
The defender's are in position now, though. So oh, oh, there it is, Sahoya. Nice little chip shot off the top. See, if you hit it off their backboard for so long and they, they're not defending it, at some point we're going to get something, and that's what Sahoya got right there. See Rhino coming in, trying to block that. Didn't have the height he needed. No. One minute left. It's two to one, Knoxville. So we'll see. It goes right down the center line. Oh, oh wow, Water Malone with the mid-air demo. Let's see if someone can get off something off the backboard, not quite. Blood Bud was going back to make sure that he had space to actually act with the ball and wasn't in the back of the I know passing the Spicoli is going to make a shot towards that goal. Oh, wow. That was honestly an incredible passing play. Yeah, that was that was really good. Rhino was, with the assist and then Spicoli with the, the redirect straight into their net. He hit that just right. Just right. Very good shot by Spicoli. He's really putting in a lot of work for the team this year. For sure. Uh, is that on? No, not quite. That was backboard. A little high. A little high. Water Malone. Trying to make something happen here. Runs oh. past Spicoli. Yeah. Actually gets a pass him. I know it's the only defender. It's going off of the backboard. Water Let's see, right there. For the shot. There's the shot right off the backboard. That's what Park needed. 25 seconds left with one goal down. Really good play there by Bloodbud and Water Rhino and Skates went for the double commit on the block and they both missed. 3-2 with 25 seconds left. This is Rocket League. A lot of things can happen. <laughs> this is Rocket League. <laughs> Water Malone going up. Trying to shoot that ball over. Oh, wow. Falls on him. Tries to stuff him. So oh, passing pass play. Fully will receive. Nine seconds remaining. We just have to keep it on um, Knoxville's side. Oh, there's the uh, mid pass. Is oh, there it is. Shot? Oh, man. Very close game again. UC Knoxville 2-0, but both of these games have been very, very close. They have been. Spicoli's putting in a lot of work. Again, has the highest number of shots, although not yeah. quite 10. No, it wasn't as crazy as last time, but um, I think Park had the same issue as last time where they just were having a hard time with the defense. With defense, Couldn't quite get it out of their side of the field. Um, and then they had that early goal. It's hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get tilted off the bat, you know? So... Uh, again, I mean, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but something's got to happen uh, with uh, Park's defense, and uh, and that's the way Park's going to come back if, if they can. Still waiting for everyone to ready up here, but I think they will automatically go in the next 15 seconds or so. Uh-oh. I, oh. I think we might be swapping in... Yeah, we're swapping in tuna fish... For watermelon. You know what? I honestly kind of saw that coming. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, what I heard was the plan was originally, if the games are going well, put Sam in. But right. I think chose to put Sam in and then uh, swap them out. But So they wheeled his aquarium into the parkade, <laughs> lowered his controller into that fish tank. That's and right. Tuna Fish Chris has entered the game. <laughs> See if uh, anything changes for uh, Park University. Cut off the ceiling, skates, shot towards the goal. And Fish Chris with the save. And oh, Spicoli, wow. Good shot. Spicoli, incredible shot, but Park with an even more incredible save. Sapoya going high. Going high, missing the ball. Getting 50 50. Oh, Goes into no, the there's no defenders. Rhino shoots into an open net. Let's watch that again. Was it just a bad 50? Oh, oh yeah, it, and it faked him out. Faced yeah. him. Was that Tuna Fish Chris that got faked out, I think it was? No, that was I think that was Blood Bud. He, uh, oh, okay. he, he thought the ball was going a little bit farther forward and he right. hitting it backwards slightly towards the goal. Bit of a stall here. So boy, running in. It's in UT's corner. Let's so see what Spicoli's going to do here. At Tom Park, I'm a little scared of him. Trying to do something fancy, maybe do a little bit of a fake out. Doesn't quite work out though. Good fish, winning the 50 50. And Off the the side. Oh, oh, very close. You see him coming in there. Demo on Spicoli. They really do not like that man. 
I don't blame him. Spicoli's been uh, playing really well. He's arguably the uh, best player on uh, on UT Knoxville side. And passed a, a blood bud. I think he was a little Not slow. Not quite. He ran out of boost, actually. Yeah. It was a good idea, though. Going back to Savoya. Oh, oh, wow. I think he tried to pass to Tuna Fish there, but Rhino ended up taking right. it. Intercepted. It's always a... Uh, uh, I don't think he was trying to get that touch. I think he was trying to shoot it out instead. That's what it looked like to me. I think it was just a bad touch. 2-0 for UT Knoxville. This is game three. This is... this is. Uh, if UT Knoxville wins this, I think that's yeah. the end of the series. It's match point, so... Park really needs to step it up here. Savoya. Savoya. Bit of a dribble. Tries to go for the flick, but didn't quite get it. Ooh, double miss on UT Knoxville's side. Opportunity for uh, Park, but I don't think we had quite enough boost there to do anything. Coley, should get over on the Park side again? Gonna try to take control. Ooh, bump on two of it. <laughs> right now it goes for the bump. I don't know how effective it was, though. Oh, Sequoia misses by hit. Oh, Bloodbud misses, too. It's a double whiff on Park. Two to fish will clear it out. Pass Skates pass through, yeah. Very close. Spicoli will it out one more time. Oh. Skates tried to go for the shot there a little wide. Oh, and, and there's, the, there's the shot from Spicoli. He'll clean it up. You can see the pass to Skates. He tried to go for the shot. Went just a little wide. Spicoli chipped it in. Yeah. The accuracy from Spicoli is insane. <sighs> it is insane. It's hard to keep up with it. Rio Knoxville. Mm -hmm. Fish going up the wall. Going for a ceiling shot, maybe a ceiling pass. Oh, there's the pass. Yeah. Wow, okay, this is what we need. What a, that was a really good pass. That though. was incredible ceiling shot. Or ceiling pass, I guess I would say. Oh, did you see he kind of like went underneath it? That's right. Man, that's some, that's some ball control right That's there. when you go to the ceiling and you fall down, you have your flip the whole time until you hit the ground. And that's what he took advantage of there. Ooh, uh, not great kickoff for Park, but Tuna Fish Chris has got it. See what he can do here. Goes for the stuff, but not quite. I know, shooting towards the goal. Goes a little high. Spicoli trying to go up to rebound that, but Tuna Fish knocks it away. I know he's spending some time in Park's goal. I think he's trying to. <laughs> I think he's trying to boost starve him actually. If you steal uh, Park's boost over there. Oh no, not the own goal. Oh, okay, <laughs> we barely get that out. <laughs> We bury it. <laughs> Tuna Fish clears it out. Looks like Blood Bud will take it. Oh, Tuna Fish Chris. Redirect. Not quite, though. So, uh, it's into the wall. Trying to slow down a bit. Doesn't quite have enough boost. Tuna, Tuna, Tuna Fish, Fish Chris. Ooh. Oh! Tuna Fish Chris, I think, is the swap that we needed. Yep. That, that, Took that. him a second, but. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He catches his own rebound, shot in towards the goal. Tuna, 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 <laughs> says the chat. <laughs> All right. And with a minute 48 to go, it's 3-2 Knoxville. Tuna fish going high. See what Sohoyo's got with this touch. He touch it again. Not quite. Tuna fish hitting it off the wall. Knoxville will take control. Rhino dribbling it past blood, but trying to make the shot. Sohoyo will get the save. Oh, gets bumped off the wall. Skates does. Oh, Lopa knocks away from Skates. That's what he needed. Only one defender. Cole has got it. Booms it past Tuna Fish. Parks up for boost. I think they're back in time. So Cole is stalling the ball. One minute remaining. Ooh. Wow. Uh, pinch off the wall, goes over, and I who was that? Skates or Spicoli? I can't remember. Spicoli. Yeah. Spicoli finds the shot. That, uh, that's disheartening. I think Spicoli was open to getting Park's boost and then top it off. I think he, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't just, think anybody expected that uh, pinch to go across the net like that. And kick off. Talk towards the corner. And Savoya misses it, but I think... I think he was trying to hit it like off of his own backboard. Yeah. Bloodbutt goes high. Toothfish Chris. 
flips it in, or flips it a little high. But it shoots into the corner. Skate just shoots it straight back out. But he's going high, trying to get control. I know. Talk towards the goal, blocked by blood, but. Now trying to take it. Bumps on skates. We'll take the ball. Ten seconds remaining. They're just trying to kill time right now. Yep. See Bloodbug can do anything here. Oh, oh. they own goal. <laughs> it's zero seconds though, so it looks yeah. like the game is over. That's the whole series, I I mean also. Yeah, that's a little interesting with the alien goal right at the last second here. All right. Well, it looks like UT Knoxville will take this game 3-0. You know, look at that. Spicoli got the traitor uh, for the oh, own goal. Oh, <laughs> for the own goal at the end. So, yep. Yeah, it looks like uh, UT Knoxville takes this 3-0. So congratulations to UT Knoxville. A lot of good plays from from both sides. Spicoli right. in particular was doing very good. I would say that he's probably the MVP for this, uh, for this game for sure. Yeah, definitely. Well... Glad you guys could watch it. Thanks for watching the stream. Uh, so it looks like... So our next live stream is on Saturday, January 25th at 2 p.m. It's CSL Rocket League. So you can see more Rocket League uh, this Saturday, I think. That's, that's Saturday? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is Saturday. Yeah, that's Saturday. That's right, yeah. So... Hope to see you guys there. Thanks for watching, and have a good night. Have a great night, guys.